In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na3PO4. This is zinc sulfate, and this is sodium phosphate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have three zinc atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to start by putting a three in front of the zinc sulfate. Zincs are balanced, but now I have three sulfates and only one over here. So I'll put a three in front of the sodium sulfate. That gives me the three sulfates, three times two. So I have six sodium atoms. I put a two here, two times three, that's six sodium atoms. They're balanced, but now I have two phosphate ions. That's okay, I have two here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So sulfates in general are soluble. So this is gonna be a soluble compound, AQ. It'll dissolve, split apart into its ions. Phosphates are not, in general, soluble, except for things like sodium phosphate and other group one elements like potassium phosphate. So this is going to be soluble, but in general, you'll see the phosphates aren't soluble. Like zinc phosphate here. Zinc phosphate is not soluble. So these two substances react, we get this insoluble compound. It's gonna be a solid, which means it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have a precipitate forming here in this reaction. Sodium compounds and sulfates are both going to be soluble. So these are the states for our net ionic equation. Now we're gonna split the electrolytes, the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So zinc, that's always gonna be two plus and the entire sulfate ion, two minus. Good one to remember. Three of these zinc ions and we have three sulfates, that SO4, two minus. For sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table, that'll be one plus. The whole phosphate ion, it's always three minus. Two times three gives us six sodium ions, that Na plus, and we have two of these phosphate ions, that PO4, three minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. So in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So our zinc phosphate, since this is a solid, we're gonna keep it together. We also have sodium positive, the sulfate two minus, three times two, so six sodium ions, just like the reactants, plus three sulfate ions. And that's also just like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed in the reaction, so we're really not interested in them. In the reactants, I can see there are three sulfate ions. And in the products, these are the spectator ions. Let's cross them out. Six sodium ions here in the reactants and in the products, spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for zinc sulfate plus sodium phosphate. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for zinc sulfate plus sodium phosphate. You'll see that charge is conserved. We have three times two plus, that's six plus, two times three minus, that's six minus. Add them up, you have a net charge of zero here. This zinc phosphate, it's a neutral compound, net charge of zero. So we've balanced charge, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.